this is a silly idea for a video. I will freely, freely admit that. I also have no idea how much I'm actually going to be able to pull off in this video. That's definitely going to be interesting. But as I'm sure most of you have seen, the new target block has been introduced into the game and it essentially gives out redstone signals when it's hit with any form of projectile. Now, obviously, I'm using a bow and arrow here, but it does work with snowballs and anything else that you want to hit it with. Yes, that does mean that you can now activate redstone contraptions using eggs. And all of this got me thinking, as much as it's really fun building up redstone contraptions that make use of the target block, what if I built up redstone contraptions that only use the target block? I'm not able to use repeaters, comparators, anything like that. I'm only able to make use of the target block from a circuitry. First things first, double piston extender. This is always a pretty good way to start things because it's a decently complicated circuit without being too ridiculous and I've kind of I've made a start here already so if we place in a handful of blocks you can see if we fire a snowball into this target block we've actually got we've kind of got the first section in place so there is our extension it has spat out its block it has done a double piston extension the problem is is now the retraction the retraction is going to be interesting because I need to fire this one and then fire this one, and that involves a little bit of delay. And when it comes to creating delay with target blocks, instead of dealing with ticks and a repeater and things, you actually deal with blocks traveled. <laughs> so my snowball here has to travel three blocks, which takes slightly longer, adding adding some form of delay, I guess. I'm already starting to think this is a ridiculous idea for a video. All right, here goes. So I'm gonna grab my snowball. This is the target block that matters. And go. <laughs> okay, so... Wow, that's a, that is that's a problem that I didn't expect to face. Uh, my snowball actually missed, so I, it missed the target block, which could be a bit of an issue. Let's see if I was on the right track. <laughs> Not quite, but that's hilarious. After a little bit more work, now everything seems to be functioning, and this might just be the silliest redstone circuit I think I've ever made. But that is a double piston extender, all fully functional, making use of only target blocks. All right, let's 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 step up the game. And I'm getting a little bit nervous now. What can we build? I thought it was worth giving this a go. It is so close to working, but just not quite. I'm sure there's something that we can do here, though. I've got to be honest, I've spent far too long on this thing, but I have to say I'm quite proud of it. So this is my absolutely tiny vertical flush with a four double piston extender that only makes use of target blocks. Look at this thing. So it actually makes use of a target block pulse extender right here. So we fire into this target block that powers the piston, but then it also powers a dispenser, which fires another snowball into a target block, which also powers the piston. And obviously that little bit of extra delay there just lengthens the pulse down at the bottom, which allows us to make a fully functional double piston extender. This thing's quite smart. Anyway, for our next redstone contraption, we have the block swapper. Now this seems like it should be quite easy. But I really feel like it's not going to be easy because the back and forth with the blocks, I'm honestly not certain how I'm going to do it at the minute. And now I have to start worrying about it. You see, I've built up the bottom piston, so that's going to retract. That gives it time to actually start swapping the blocks over and doing its thing. And that all seems to be working well. I'm starting to get the hang of this target block redstone stuff. But still, the back and forth... I mean, I suppose we could make use of some T flip flops, but how on earth do I even build a T flip flop out of target blocks? I mean, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It is quite cool being able to activate your redstone contraption from anywhere, though. That's that's good fun. I think I've actually worked something out here. So this this is the block swapper. It's a little bit big, but here's the plan. So we're gonna have two dispensers that are pointed at the blocks above these pistons here. They're both going to fire up projectiles at the same time. One side is going to hit nothing, so nothing's going to happen. The other side is going to hit the target, and then it's going to swap the blocks across. And then the next time, obviously, it will just hit the block. Nothing will happen. But on this side. Swaps the blocks across. <laughs> it's like one of the funniest solutions to a redstone problem I've probably had to come up with. But it actually works quite well. Let's see if it functions in practice. This might just be the biggest block swap I've ever made in my life. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It is only three blocks wide. I've done quite well there. It's fairly compacted inwards. But no, it's, it's not something that you can just fit in your back pocket. However, it does seem to just about function. All of the timings are kind of linking up. Snowballs are flying throughout the entire system. 
Oh, this is so daft. All right, so I think it's safe to say that so far in this video, we've taken on a handful of simple redstone projects, or at least redstone projects that are normally simple. We've managed to make them work with target blocks. That's all well and good. However, now, now that I kind of understand how these game mechanics sort of function, I think it's worth trying to build something that is generally relatively complicated. This could be a huge mistake. This could be an absolutely enormous mistake. Did someone say three by three piston door? Three by three. Oh. Now one immediate problem that I've run into is that this is the first circuit that we're constructing that has a rising edge and a falling edge to it. Now what does this mean? It essentially means that it does something different when you activate it to when you deactivate it. That is that is going to be difficult to program in with, with target blocks, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just not going to worry about that for the time being and I'm just going to work on trying to get the circuits to actually function. And I think I've got part one sorted. So that is that part of the circuitry. And then also we kind of need this and then I need to retract that back out the way again. And then I need to fire my double piston extender, which I do actually have somewhere in here. So I actually need to hit that target. And then we will, we will actually have a 3x3 piston door, <laughs> which is crazy considering this is actually looking quite small. And half an hour later, I'm still, I'm still working on this because I'm a total, total meathead and moron in a way. I want to try and keep it three blocks wide. I don't know why. I, I really want to try and keep this thing super compact. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I've actually managed to make this thing function re <laughs> really nicely. Just using target blocks. This is so silly. <laughs> oh man, that is... This is tiny. This is absolutely tiny. The only redstone component I've had to use is a redstone torch. So we can get the rising edge and the falling edge. That is it. <laughs> and that is fluid and fast. I can't believe this. Right, let's get all the other components added in and we can see how this all looks. Hm, I thought this was meant to be the easy bit. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is, is that this won't go on for too long because I'm going to run out of snowballs. <laughs> I think I've actually managed to make something that sort of... It works. <laughs> that is so nuts. It is so cool watching it function though. Look at all the snowballs being fired around. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, there's some interesting game mechanics going on here. That's what's quite cool about this whole thing. You know, we've got we've got some interesting bits and pieces. Man, when I started this episode, if you had told me that I'd actually be able to build a 3x3 piston door, I probably would have laughed at you. And if you told me that I'd be able to build a 3x3 piston door that is only three blocks wide, I literally would have left the room. I mean, look at look at how we started. In fact, you know what? I'm almost tempted to go back to the horizontal double piston extender to see if we can improve the redstone here. Because this is... This is a mess. All right, let's give it a go. How small do you think we can actually manage to get this thing? I genuinely think now that I have a slightly better understanding of how we can make use of the target block to create pulse extenders and things like that, I genuinely think we might actually be able to make it really compact or at least decently compact. Right, let's see if we've got part one. Kind of, but actually kind of not. That's curious. Uh, cool, that's a way to make an even longer pulse extender. So then we could... Oh, that could actually be on. We could be on something there. I would be really chuffed if this just works. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I kind of thought it might. That is so cool. <laughs> We're getting good at this. I'm enjoying target block raid stone. And yes, in my excitement, I did call it target block raid stone. I'd rather you didn't mention it down in the comment section. Wait a minute. You can fire fireworks horizontally now. I feel like I've missed the boat on this one. I mean, is that going to... Goodness me, that is a short travel time on that firework, but I, I need to do some investigation work here. No! Oh my goodness, that could have been so cool. Hold up, because all is not lost. If I just give this a try... Yes! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! 
I'm sure I'm not the first person that I'm sure I'm not the first person to realize this, but this could be seriously awesome for like sending redstone signals. Give me a second. But seriously, when did they add in horizontal fireworks? Was that Minecraft 1.15? Now that I think about it, I feel like it was Minecraft 1.15. Okay, redstone signal, be sent. Off you go. Oh. Well, what's happened here? Is it one of those things that's just a tiny bit unreliable? I mean, that is so cool. If this... If this was more reliable, it would be the best way to send redstone signals across the sky. It just seems like occasionally, just sometimes, the firework just doesn't activate the target block. Yeah, ah, oh, that's such a shame because obviously compounded over large distances, you're basically going to get a 0% success rate. Man, <laughs> that was almost, almost almost incredible anyway this has been incredibly fun uh it's been a lot of fun messing around with the new target block obviously none of these redstone circuits are particularly practical i don't expect anyone to build them in their survival worlds or anything like that but sometimes it's interesting to challenge yourselves with these things anyway i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one see ya now you may notice i do have a slightly strange voice for this video i seem to have a bit of a block nose right now uh, and a small sore throat. Don't worry. Okay, the obvious thing that everyone is now going to comment is that I have the coronavirus. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think that's the case. There's no confirmed cases near me. I would have to be the first. Don't have any other symptoms. I'm just a little bit under the weather. All right?